Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Virgo. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Virgo, this is going to be a reading about advice. So uh, advice for love and romance and then career and finance. So we'll start with love and romance. Let's see, okay, what the advice is. Okay, so um, some of you, you're trying to manifest maybe, okay, so you're trying to manifest what you want, your dreams. You're trying to bring something into, into, into fruition. You could be trying to manifest a particular person also. You could feel like somebody is the one. It's hard to keep up with them or to, it's hard to get them to commit here. They're so masculine or, and this could be you talking about a female energy. They're so masculine. They're so, you know, uh, dominant, you know, um, You could be saying some affirmations or maybe even doing some work, some energy work to try to get this particular energy, this particular person. Some of you could be writers or you're writing something or you're, you're journaling. Let's see what is going on for my Virgo. All right. Yeah, it's like um, maybe you're trying to persuade somebody, okay? You're trying to, or someone's trying to persuade you to take them back or to hear them out. Um. And it, this is the advice here, you know, um, state your truth, state your claim. Um, you're coming with some truth, you know, the facts of the matter, you know, and um, that's what you need to do. But there's also somebody here who is like fear of commitment, fear of missing out. Also, it's like they don't want to commit because they feel like they're going to miss out some on something else or someone else. But they don't want you to leave so it's like they're saying something to you yeah they're trying to get you to stay make the choice of staying you could even be trying to get somebody to understand the connection the connection could be without like a, a label right now like you aren't boyfriend and girlfriend or whatnot it's, but it's like a high level soulmate or y'all have made some life altering choice together See. yeah so look at the last card so it's like yeah it's like um this is a soulmate connection but in soulmate connections both parties have to choose the soulmate connection most times you find that one party is choosing the soulmate connection and the other party isn't there also could have been something that came in between the connection here that's causing somebody to make a choice between you and something else or vice versa this is what you're doing Virgo the advice here is to um, look at where there was something that went wrong. It was because it was like you guys were on, you know, some type of trajectory, some system to being together. And then there was like a, a break or a halt in that. It's like maybe this person needs to forgive you or you need to forgive yourself or forgive them. Or it's like you need to, you're asking for absolution, like, you know, you can't keep bringing this back up or we can't keep coming here or, or you need to make a decision. Are you in or are you out? So it looks like the advice for your love life is that maybe it's either you or the other person has to decide where they want to be. Are they choosing the soulmate connection or are they not? You know, are they going their own way? Um, and you may have dealt with this energy for a very long time. And the cards may be telling you, you might need to go your way. You know, you need to explore something else somewhere else because this is too heavy for you to carry by yourself because it's like somebody is making you do all the work in the connection let's see a uh, career and finance for virgo career and, okay yes you got a yes answer so uh whatever the question is you have a, a yes all right uh, within the next few weeks maybe you're waiting for something to be approved it is yes you're waiting for the green light the answer is yes uh, romance okay so maybe you, you might find romance via career and finance maybe somebody likes you um, helpful people yeah like so this could be somebody at work this could be a work related romance there's somebody who um, you know they have eyes on you um, wow 
you have another yes, the definite yes here. You get a, a yes and then you get the definite yes. So there's somebody in um, maybe that you can meet at work. Um, it could turn romantic, you know, um, you could have a work related romance. How far it will go, I don't know, but it looks like you do have a yes answer here. It could be kind of like a um, something that starts real fast, but if you want it to last, you're gonna have to ground the energy in something stable, like uh, finding common ground or finding a reason to stay around each other or to to see it through because it's like it could start real fast and it could fizzle out real fast also. But it looks like there is romance and there could be romance. Um, also, this looks like maybe let your coworkers help you if they know somebody that would be good for you you know let them help you if they want to go out for drinks or um you're invited somewhere go because that could also um lead to uh, maybe a romantic connection so this is what i have for you virgo if it resonates for you some of you travel for work too and in your travels you are having a romance you get some romance there happening in your travels all right, that's what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can go over to the website, book your reading there. Um, I think that's all. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.